For Catholics in the Archdiocese of Hartford, it was an early Christmas gift as they welcomed a new Archbishop earlier this week. Archbishop Leonard Blair, who most recently served as Bishop of Toledo, Ohio, was installed as the fifth Archbishop of Hartford. Terry Hegarty was there for the Monday installation ceremony and reports now on the new spiritual shepherd of the Archdiocese, which is home to some 500,000 Catholics. It was history in the making in the Cathedral of St. Joseph in downtown Hartford, December 16th, as Archbishop Leonard P. Blair was installed as the fifth Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Hartford. More than 2,000 were in attendance for the more than two-hour ceremony. Pope Francis's representative to the United States, Archbishop Carlo Vigano, escorted Archbishop Blair to his cathedra, or bishop's chair, the symbol of his apostolic authority. The new archbishop took the reins from outgoing Hartford Archbishop Henry Mansell, who is now officially retired. Archbishop Mansell turned 76 this past October. Bishops are required to submit a letter of intent to retire upon their 75th birthday. Bishop Mansell had served as Archbishop of Hartford since December 2003. As he began his homily, Archbishop Blair was quick to thank his predecessor. Thank you, Archbishop Mansell. Archbishop Blair, who is 64 years old, most recently served as Bishop of the Diocese of Toledo, Ohio. He was installed there in 2003. Born in Detroit, Michigan, he was ordained a priest in 1976. He has an extensive pastoral background, serving as a parish priest, seminary professor, and as auxiliary bishop of Detroit. Several cardinals, including Cardinal Dolan from New York and Cardinal O'Malley from Boston, attended the Mass of Installation. Numerous bishops were also present, including Springfield Bishop Timothy McDonnell. The Diocese of Hartford, established in 1843, became an archdiocese in 1923. The archdiocese includes 213 parishes and serves all of the counties of Hartford, Litchfield, and New Haven. Archbishop Blair spoke of the influence that Pope Francis has had on him as he reiterated the importance of evangelization. Every baptized person, St. Peter says, is called to offer spiritual sacrifices and to announce to the world the praises of God. For many in the congregation, the new archbishop's reminder that we are all evangelizers was inspiring. All of the faithful of the archdiocese and of the world need to go out and do the work of evangelization. As our Holy Father, Pope Francis, has uh, told us, we need to go out and do the work, get our hands dirty, make sure that our faith is kept strong, and to work with others in bringing peace to the world. Donna felt that she needed to be in attendance. I think it was very important to be here to witness history in the making. And any, any bishop or archbishop that is installed is history in the making which I think is very important for us as Catholics, for our youth, and for the laity and religious here in, Arch, in the Archdiocese. Attendees and those watching the ceremony as it was broadcast both locally and nationally got to see the rich tradition and symbolism of the installation mass, as well as the splendor of the cathedral. To come to our main cathedral here in the Archdiocese is absolutely marvelous for us. And to see 2,000 people here at the ceremony and I was especially moved by the uh, giving of thanks in the special languages it was very moving for us because we don't get to see that often and the ceremony was was beautiful uh, and very spiritual. With his installation here today Archbishop Blair will now be shepherd to the nearly 600,000 Roman Catholics in the Archdiocese along with more than 300 priests and 600 men and women religious. Hosting a press conference immediately following the installation mass, Archbishop Blair told reporters that he was nervous upon entering the cathedral. But I, I prayed to God to give me the gift of the Holy Spirit that what I would say and do would, would help people in their faith. And I, and I tell you honestly, kind of a great calm came over me and when I came down the aisle. I celebrated mass here as if I would have celebrated it back in the cathedral in Toledo, you know, felt very comfortable 
very much at home doing it. Timothy says traveling to the cathedral for the liturgy was well worth the trip. And I was very moved to come here today and see all the people here and participate in the, uh, in the sacrifice of the Mass, which is very important to me, and to uh, meet and see our new Archbishop. A reporter asked Archbishop Blair what the faithful should look forward to. Can you say what, what can the, the people of the Archdiocese expect from you? Well, I would hope that they would expect me to uh, be uh, d diligent, dutiful in carrying out my responsibilities, that I would have uh, an open ear and an open heart to their spiritual needs and struggles, uh, that together uh, we would be a people of prayer and faith. Archbishop Blair told the press what he is most looking forward to in his new role. Oh, getting out there and, and just being introduced to this whole new whole new world and uh, and people are very kind, very supportive. That's a great encouragement to me, and so they're they're eager and curious to see their new archbishop, and I'm equally eager and curious to see them. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. His new responsibilities will provide Archbishop Blair many opportunities to see the people of Connecticut, most likely for several years to come. Reporting for Real to Real, this is Terry Hegarty.